What's going on guys? So we got some pretty big news today. Now of course, before I begin, all of this is just a rumor, it's all speculative. But the thing is, it's coming from two different sources. Uh, one of them pretty reliable, you know, we have Eurogamer and Source Gaming. Both of them have gotten some rumors correct in the past. And what's that rumor? Well, if you didn't look at the video title, which I'm sure you did, or you saw the thumbnail, blah 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 blah. GameCube Virtual Console for the Switch. Now, this is something that isn't too surprising, honestly. Like, this, this seems like a natural progression. I mean, the Wii had Virtual Console, Wii U had Virtual Console, the Switch had it, and the GameCube is getting to the point where it's so old that it could be considered an old console. It's, what, it came out, I think, in 2001, so it's 15 years old now. That makes me feel really old, holy crap. But it's not just the fact that we've gotten a rumor that GameCube is going to be on the Switch. We've also gotten three potential launch games, and those are Super Mario Sunshine, Luigi's Mansion, and Super Smash Bros. Melee. If that's true, wow. That is a great, great way to start. Mario Sunshine, Luigi's Mansion, and Melee. Seriously, Melee is going to sell consoles. Just the fact of Melee being portable. I, I know at least one person, you know who you are that you're watching, that I'm sure you would buy a Switch just for Smash Bros. Melee. I would buy a Switch, a Switch just for Melee. That's really cool if that's actually the case. And there's also speculation that Animal Crossing is also in the works and it's going through testing phases. And that's really interesting because in Animal Crossing you can emulate NES games. I've never, personally never played Animal Crossing, but still, I mean, imagine playing an NES game emulated on Animal Crossing and that game emulated on the Switch on the go. Like, wow, that's a lot of emulating. Emulateception, I guess that's the term for it. So this is a really cool rumor, but there are a few problems with that. So let's talk about why this could definitely be false. One of the biggest flaws is that the GameCube Virtual Console would require analog triggers. And the Joy-Con controllers, as we've seen so far, don't have analog triggers. Now maybe what we saw in the trailer that they showed about a month ago Maybe that was just a rough draft or a first or second build and they haven't showed us a final build and perhaps there will be analog triggers on there. But from what we've seen, I don't really know exactly how this would work. Like maybe perhaps the Z button would be mapped to another button on the Joy-Con controller. Maybe it could be like mapped to the minus button or something else. But right now, that is a pretty big thing. Now I'm sure it would be possible for Nintendo to take their GameCube adapter that was used on the Wii U and allow that to be used on the Switch console so that you could play with GameCube controllers on the Switch. I could honestly see that happening and maybe that's how GameCube VC support is going to work or maybe there's going to be another controller we can use. I think the Switch Pro Controller has analog triggers. Do not quote me on that. I have not looked at that controller close enough. If that controller has analog triggers, let me know in the description. But anyway, I wanted to go on a little bit longer. So this rumor is cool. There are a couple problems with it, but I think it would be really fun to start predicting what other GameCube games could possibly come to the Switch if we are going to get GameCube VC. First, I'm going to say Beyond Good and Evil. Now, I know that's a pretty obscure choice, but here's the thing. Beyond Good and Evil 2 is coming to the Switch in 2018. From what we've seen in rumors, maybe it's going to come out a little bit earlier or a little bit later, whatever. So if Beyond Good and Evil 1 came out on GameCube Virtual Console, it would make sense as an incentive to maybe try out Beyond Good and Evil 2 when that comes out. And I'd also love to see Super Monkey Ball 1 and 2. Now if you've been with me for years and years on this channel, you know how big of a fan I am of Monkey Ball. And gosh, that would be so awesome to bring both of those games, even just one of those games, to the Virtual Console. I would love to play some Monkey Ball on the go, like that would be so sick. And it was a very beloved franchise back in the time. Now, it's not very big anymore. I don't think we've seen a Monkey Ball game in a few years now. But, man, Monkey Ball 1, 2, Deluxe, those three were fantastic. And I would love to see those added. And you know what else would be kind of cool? Mario Kart Double Dash. Do I need to say anything else? No, it's freaking Mario Kart Double Dash. Let's move on. And imagine Kirby Air Ride as a virtual console title. Now, that's a game that isn't talked about too much, but the people that have played it really do praise it. And I haven't played too much of it, but it is a blast to play, especially multiplayer. I love doing the city trials and all the other mini games and stuff along the lines of that. It's a really, really fun game, and I think it would fit very well as a virtual console title. And next on my list, Resident Evil 4. 
Now, the thing is, is this going to be a GameCube VC title for the Switch, or is it going to be an HD remake? Because it seems like Resident Evil 4 has been remade like 50,000 times, so I wouldn't even be surprised if Resident Evil 4 is remade again on the Switch in HD, and that would be pretty awesome. Imagine being like outside, you're out camping on the weekend, and for some reason you brought your Switch because you don't actually like going outside and camping, but you're playing Resident Evil 4 in the dark, that would be amazing. And next, I'm going to predict Metroid Prime 1 and 2. Now, these are two games that I have not personally played, but I know for those that have played those games, absolutely adore Metroid Prime 1 and 2. It's a game that just makes sense. I mean, it's a, it's a classic GameCube game. It would need to be ported to the Virtual Console. And next, I'm going to predict F-Zero GX. Now, the thing is, it's very unlikely because Nintendo has practically pretended that F-Zero doesn't exist, aside from his existence in Smash Bros. as Captain Falcon. But the game itself, we haven't seen a new game in such a long time. But I do think that F-Zero GX would be a fantastic addition. It's a really fun racing game, 60 FPS, it looks great, it's hard as hell, it's an awesome game, and it's gotta be on the Switch. Because honestly, it's kind of rare nowadays. It costs like 50 or $60 to get a physical copy. And sure, you can emulate it on the Dolphin, like you could emulate any of these on the Dolphin, but if you wanna actually support Nintendo, this is a game that Nintendo should get on the Switch. And of course, Pikmin 1 and 2. Again, these are two more games that I haven't played. I'm sorry, I know a lot of you guys are Pikmin fans. I just have never gotten around to playing them. But I know Pikmin 1 and 2 are really great classic titles for the GameCube and again, should be added to VC. And I'm also going to predict the Mario Party franchise, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Now, maybe we won't get all four of those games. Perhaps we'll just get one or maybe even two of them if we're lucky. But those games are pretty good. I don't think they're as good as Mario Party 1 through 3. But 4 through 7 are still really fun games. I've had a lot of fun playing all of them. And the thing is, I don't know how they would work with Mario Party 6 and 7 because you do need the microphone attachment. Perhaps they could work in with the game Maybe there's like some sort of way to use a microphone via the tablet, like they'll have some sort of microphone piece you can play the mini games that way, or maybe they just won't include 6 and 7 in Virtual Console, and it'd be understandable for that reason. And next, Super Mario Strikers. This game is amazing, one of the most fun sports games I've ever played in my entire life. I prefer, I actually do prefer uh, the Wii Mario Strikers game, Mario Strikers Charge, but the GameCube one is still really solid, and it's just another title we gotta see added. And lastly, I'm gonna pick Chibi Robo. This is another unlikely one, but at the same time, Nintendo has seemed to really support the franchise, at least a little bit. It did get that weird 3DS spinoff game, it got an amiibo for crying out loud, so maybe that means we're gonna see Chibi Robo on the Switch. Now there's two big games I didn't talk about, and that's Legend of Zelda Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. The only reason I'm gonna predict they're not gonna be virtual console titles is because they just got HD remakes. Twilight Princess, very recent, uh, Wind Waker HD was a few years back. If anything, what's gonna happen is those two titles will somehow be playable on the Switch themselves. So adding virtual console ports of those games almost seems pointless because the HD remakes are superior. Obviously they look better, but they've improved gameplay wise. So that's why I'm not gonna be adding those to my prediction. And that's a bit it for today, guys. Now, I wanted to talk about this because if GameCube comes to the Switch, oh my God, that will be so freaking exciting. The GameCube is one of my favorite consoles of all time, and I really hope it happens. Again, it's just a rumor. But anyway, feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Really helps support the channel. And leave a comment. Are there any GameCube games that you would wanna see on the Switch? Let me know in the comments. Did I miss any? Or do you think this whole thing just isn't gonna happen? Hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll talk to you in the next one.